Okay, welcome to Ecolabs Technical Support. Uh, today we have here Osmo 950. Actually, there are so many models that we are going to open this one today because actually there are so many customers that are asking this question that uh, their main brush motor got some problem. They want to open the main brush motor. I already uploaded two videos uh, how to, I mean, open this one and how to assemble back. But the customer, they want to know each and every part uh, that how to take out that uh, specific part. So in this video, I will show you how to take out the main brush motor from this assembly and how to assemble it back. So please keep watching this video and make sure you watch the full video and like and subscribe uh, my channel as well. And uh, you share this video with other friends also. Thank you. So first of all, we will remove this plate. Okay. We put our fingers, just pull up. And then we will use uh, this user, the tip one and lift up this cover and here got uh, two rubber we can just take out these rubbers like this okay and now we are going to remove these two screws now we'll take out the small scatter Set down remove all these uh, whatever the accessories you see here main brush cover also can remove all these screw we will remove up to here mostly the customer they know already up to this level that uh, how I remove all these uh, screws, where are which part need to remove. But now I want to show you each and every screw. Actually, if we want to remove the main brush, uh, main brush motor, then I let you know first each and every part you need to disassemble, then only you will reach to that part. That is, I mean, the most difficult part of uh, the debot is the main brush motor if you want to replace. You need to remove each and every part. Then only you will reach to that part. That is, uh, at the end, underneath the main board is that part actually. Never mind, we will remove all the screws. Okay, now this part. For the battery, we will just put it like that. So the battery will come out in my hands like that. Then we just pull up. And there are two more screws here and here. Yeah. All the, each and every screw is important. We need to remove. Then only we can. Okay. Actually, in this model, Osmo 950 bumper is like that. There are only two wires. But there are uh, like T8 model. If you are using T8 IV or a T9 model, in those models there are uh, two, three more wires here. So you need to all disconnect those wires, but make sure you remember or you can take the picture before you disassemble that which wire is connected where. So easy for you when you assemble it back. So in this model there are only two wires. So I just the function wise actually is the same thing because the debots are very dusty. So I'm wearing white color shirt, so that's why I just wipe the dust so it won't fly on me. So now what I do is uh, okay you can bring over here so now I need to pull up this cover so before you pull up make sure there are two wires here the one is uh, the LDS wire and the one is underneath the LDS there are sensors here so when I press this one you are here you will hear the click clicking sound that clicking sound is the sensors here so these two wires belongs to those the, this one is LDS wire I disconnect this one is the sensors wire now I just pull up the cover there's no other wire but if you are using any model got camera on top here ecovex some models they got camera here make sure whenever you are using the camera model here the camera on top and you want to remove the top cover there is a small chip something like uh, I show you the chip There will be this type chip actually is connected with the camera and connected with the motherboard. So make sure if you are using any model uh, that uh, got uh, uh, camera on top. 
so there should be something like this actually the strips actually maybe this type or this type yes they're corrected actually so you need to remove those strips on first then only you can remove the top cover the if you won't remove the strip and you just pull up the cover like that motherboard gone then you need to replace the motherboard because the strip will break okay so now what we will do first of all we will remove uh, this motherboard uh, we have to remove all, each and every part osmo 920 and osmo 950 and t9 t8 models is the uh, models got uh, core board here like this uh, but t8 iv don't have this type core board now we just pull up like that disconnect all the wires from this side I'm, I'm not going to disassemble all the wires because I just put the motherboard like this so no need to remove the wires from that side okay so I will put the motherboard like that easy for me now we take out these wires here all these wires and now what we are going to do we need to open these two wheels because if I don't open the wheels I cannot take out this assembly the motor is here this more the this assembly is stuck with the wheels like that I need to remove the wheels then only this part I can take out so first of all the water pump we need to disconnect take out this plate put it here and now there are four screw every wheel got four screw actually two three and the one is here four once i remove these four screw now i can take out the wheel assembly no need to disconnect all these wires you can we can just put it like that here it's okay no problem except sorry the black one the black one we can take out like that and then the wheel assembly goes right on there on the side so no one, two, three, and here is the four. Four screw I remove. No, I can open this assembly also. I just put aside. That's all. No, I can open this. Uh, need to open this screw only. There's only one screw left. This one. Okay, now is the time to show you how to we take out. There are actually the locks here. You can see here. One lock here and the one is here. We just pull up from here. Okay. Sometimes it's slightly harder actually this one. Okay. It's not, I mean sometimes it's stuck so we need to push. Otherwise, actually, sometimes if you think that uh, once we remove all the screw, no, it's very easy. We just pull out like that. It's not possible. <laughs> sometimes it's stuck there, so we need to push little like that. Then only can take out. So this is actually the main brush motor assembly, like this. Its cover is like that. So if no need to remove this whole part, and I th I don't think so. If the Ecovax they are providing, if any customer want to buy online, they won't provide the whole assembly like that. If you want to just uh, fix this one, so just uh, make sure you wipe this one first. Okay, now you can show you clearly. There are only two screw here. Three, three. three screw here, yeah. one is one more is here. Yeah, one more is here. Okay, just only need to remove this tiny screw, and here is your main brush motor assembly. That's the box. And here I have the new one with me. <laughs> Thank you very much. And actually every time it's not possible that uh, the every time some customer they ask this question, how come I mean the motor spoil, main rush motor spoil. Problem is, okay, no, I will show you because no, I already opened, assembled everything. <laughs> you see the mess on my table. So I'll show you. When the brush turns here, so here you can see the tiny space, very tiny. But the human hairs from this side can go in and tangle inside here. 
that became the, the mess inside actually and after you can say maybe one year one and a half year you are uh, using this one but from outside we cannot see anything then only after one and a half year one year plus uh, you can see i show you i open this maybe one maybe open it and yeah. show it to the people easy it's better for them there are only just actually locks. There is no screw on this assembly. We would not recommend you to open this. Yeah. And just because I want to show you everything is like that actually. You see here. No need. I just take off with my hands. But this one so far inside there is no hair. Just only there is I think maybe the motor spoil. Sometimes it's the case, sometimes yeah, it's the Sometimes motor. it's a grease issue, sometimes, but this motor is still in very good condition, looks very good condition. You see the grease color is still, I mean, yellow, we can see there. But sometimes when I open, it's totally black and there's not, not even the grease inside. It's totally black and the dust there. That is why, I mean, sometimes it's uh, here. Gems. yeah. But this motor dear looks okay. Then why the try with the brush? Yeah, we can see from here. Here we put the main brush actually. So like this it turns. But the motto looks okay. But it's slightly harder actually, is jam. But never mind. So Some this time. is how I mean we take out the main brush motor assembly. Okay, this one is a I mean the scrap now. So now I'm going to assemble back the new one and show you how to No, this is a different model bro <laughs> Give me the good one Give me the exact model Yeah Because it uh, looks like same The wire is shorter, different So cannot fix it back Okay, this is the exact model, thank you Okay, so this is a wire, you see, no? This is the same thing actually. And this one's a new one, good one. First of all, I show you here. It's very soft, easily can turn, but that one is slightly harder. So now we will switch it, going to put it back here. Yeah, very easy. And there are only three screws, as I showed you earlier. Just put back the three screws. You can use manual screwdriver, easy for you. Because I have to open hundreds of deep boards daily, so that's why it's difficult for me to use a manual screwdriver for so many screws. Okay, so now this rubber seal, the, uh, this side, the wire will come off from here. Now it's ready to set, put it back to assemble back. Okay, here is the hardest part okay so now it's uh, the main thing is now actually started how you you will put it back it's very difficult i mean for the new person it's really very difficult it's not easy i'm telling you okay first of all we will put these two slots you can see this this and this lock we will put it here. here yes we put here then wait wait let me see <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> let me see now this part easily just put it here on this and that's all. on the screw yes. this side on the screw yes all the corners goes underneath the side brush motor you can just press a little bit hard from the side yes you can press harder to it, let it go down push this thing underneath the motor uh, side brush motor. Because if this wire stuck somewhere under the cover, it will always yeah, give you trouble. Just hold the wire. Wait, wait. Yes. Now you see that uh, from the front the rubber is go in here. This one. So now this one we can just pull a little bit up this top cover. Not too much. And but yes. 
just take out this rubber out okay so now and then you push it in. okay now you can see this one this one should be like that actually it's very smooth okay so now the only one screw we will put here Okay, I just put the one screw and this main branch motor assembly is six actually. No, it won't move, won't come out. Don't worry. Now we will assemble back everything as we just take out. It's very simple, right? <laughs> How simple is that? <laughs> <laughs> so now we will put back the left wheel first. It looks simple, but... Okay, no problem. There's nothing impossible. Just we have to put some effort. Mm -hmm. We just learn one... If you try at home and if you cannot fix back, you can bring it to our service center. <coughs> so, Mr. Any Asavi, question fix you back can for you. Ask, you can just give the feedback on uh, our channel. I will let you know how to open everything. All these videos I make for you. Easy for you. If it's a minor issue, you can uh, settle at home. Okay, then. No problem. Make sure when you put it back, there shouldn't be any wire go in or stuck there. Otherwise, uh, the assembly will be slightly higher and that assembly touch with the motherboard and the motherboard will touch with the top cover and the top cover will be slightly one m higher, touch with the bumper, bumper will be stuck and it cannot move forward. It will always give you the message, please check the bumper, please check the bumper and you, will, you won't understand what's happening, why the bumper is stuck here. Be just only because one, this tiny wire stuck underneath the cover when you put back the screw and the whole story go up and the bumper stuck just we that's why we have to take care each and every wire it won't stuck under the covers there should be the proper space proper area where we need to put the wire so these yeah. wires it's better for you to take a picture of the yes. wires before you remove yeah. anything you just take a picture we put the wires here and these wires go in here like that and this one This is the speaker. Speaker must go in here like that. Okay. So the one now we put back the right screw. Okay, the right side is actually is a more difficult. I let you know why. Because when the customer they open this one. Yes. So sometimes because the wires are here like that. So the customer they won't remove this wire. And when they put back this uh, wheel, so these wires stuck here like that. So make sure when you put it back the right side wheel, you put all these wires here like that. Then there is no wire here, so it's stuck. It's Later you can put it back. Push here. it back and push all the wires on the back side before you put, and then all the sensors wires also you put outside, so it doesn't get stuck underneath the right. This video will be, I think, slightly lengthy because uh, yes, it's, it's okay, no problem. Customers should be happy. Yeah. Whoever need this video I and mean, how to remove this one, of course, they will watch the full video. And then this sensor actually came off from here, so we just put it back here. This is actually is uh, the carpet sensor. Yes, the carpet sensor. So we just put it back here. No issue. We just put the you can see this one the lock the rubber lock this rubber lock will go in here in this this rubber lock yeah so no it won't move, it's stuck there. Hmm. 
so instead of two screw I put here one <laughs> no, no, no problem No, all the wires which is help us make sure it. the pipe doesn't get strangled when you put the water, yeah. otherwise, the water won't come out. But that was very rare. No, Sometimes you take out the motor, you put back, and then you put it, make it like a round trip, and then you put back, and it will get strangled. Make sure don't damage the wires. If any of the wire damage, it will keep <laughs> giving <laughs> you the error here. <laughs> no, I have to press it down. That's why I hold press it like this. Okay. So now the wheels, uh, the ball uh, fixed already. Now I will put back all the wires. Easy. These three wires I mean, have a way. So they go down. This one we disconnected from here. Make sure you connect the wire which you take out from here, which is the black wire, and then there's a wire underneath them, which goes underneath the main board here, which is just connecting right now, and then all the wires are up in front. The easy way, simple way is before you disconnect the wires, take a picture and when you assemble it back, so you just follow that picture. Easy. That's a simple way. Yeah, and there's easy. different lengths for each wire, so you won't get so much confused. Yeah. You just have to put the wires the right way. Multitasking. Okay, so now all these wires make sure we check all the clips here all connected okay so now we will put back the motherboard screw first So now I'll put set, set all these wires. These wires will go in from here, and these all these wires we just attach here underneath. Just before you take out, it's better yeah. for you to just look at each the clip. Maybe you make a short video of each clip, and then you follow your so finger along, so you won't forget. Okay. So now it's ready to put back this uh, chip first. Open this one. Bro, your hand is there, I cannot see. <laughs> okay, now it's inside. We just put the lock. So now this one is locked already. We just put here. Put one screw here. Okay. Core board is connected. All the wires are connected. Everything done. Now we put back the battery for testing purposes. Or lemon, we will put the top cover for here. Or for yeah. So here. I put here so you can see easily. Okay, this one the wire we put here. And this one's the LDS wire. 
no i put back okay how to put back this top cover before that also in the videos i mentioned i just follow this one the vacuum fan rubber i put on its yeah you show from the other angle yeah i'm trying okay i just follow this rubber and then just put it back now once it done you make sure when you put it back make sure your power button is off and from the main board also power button is off then it's easily can set at the proper position now i will put back the bumper because actually i promise a few customers that uh, today i will upload this video how to disassemble and disassemble back main brush motor before that when we received this keyboard so the main brush uh, was not turning now i will switch back the battery So before I put back all the screw, I will just test whether the main brush turn or not. Okay, this one's the customer main brush. Okay, that one the gear is missing. No, yeah. this is not the customer. Okay, that's our demo. Customer. Okay, okay. <laughs> that one here. And now we will test first whether the main brush turns or not. Turn it on. Before we put back all the screw, we will test one round whether the problem uh, for to settle. We open this D board whether that problem solve or not. If I assemble back all the screw and later I want to turn on, oh, the one wire is missing. Then I have to open all these D boards and all the screw open again. So that's why before we run, uh, before we fix back all the screw, we must check first whether that error settle or not and the D board start moving or not. If the board start moving and that error settle, then only assemble back, fix back all the screw will be easy, will be easy for you. So now it's ready to use. I press and see whether the main brush start turning or not. I will show you. I am relocated. Please wait. You can hear the sound. Hello. The no, main brush is still not turning. As you can see, main ah. brush is still not turning. Side brush is not turning. I am suspended. Yes. Is a main board problem actually. If, uh, if the main brush uh, is... Uh, but actually in this video, I just show you how to assemble and how to... I mean, the disassemble and assemble back is how to replace the main brush motor. But in this case, as I show you that uh, before I assemble back the screw, I will test whether this one can fix or not. How to... I mean, whether the problem solve or not. Whether I know I replace a new main brush motor, but still the main brush motor is not turning. It means that there is something wrong with the motherboard. The main brush motor is not getting power from the motherboard. That is why the main brush motor is not turning. So in this case, what we have to do, we need to replace main brush motor. I already replaced. Now the main boards together need to replace. Then only this problem will solve and the board will start working. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you very much.